everyone, just on the Goulburn today and uh, let's see how we go using a uh, New Zealand style uh, indicator it's a, a yarn a yarn type of float it hits the water very softly so the whole idea is it, it doesn't spook the fish um, so yeah I'm sort of chasing uh, stonkers today I'll see how we go today it's very foggy this morning zero degrees but I think tomorrow the water levels going up uh, they're doubling the water level what I've seen on the internet so I thought today's got to be the day so yeah I just slowly bring it back in um, just to cover a bit more ground and sort of fish on the edges of the um, the rapid waters and hopefully they'll be uh, they'll be sitting in there so I'm just using uh, nymphs today um, uh, so yeah you can see that's a bit on the edge of the rapids it's a hare's ear type nymph um, and I'll see how that goes Got to be patient. Like any time you go fishing, just patience and wait for that opportunity. Uh, the other beauty with the uh, New Zealand style indicator is I can change the depth of my nymph any time. I mean, ideally you just want it bouncing off the bottom. Uh, I usually leave about two meters of adjustability so at the moment I've got it maxed out close to two meters just so I can get it down as far as possible um, and uh, we'll see how that goes same thing it's all all foggy here again today like it was at Stony Creek last week so yeah so I might just move it up a bit, see I can just slide it up the line and that way <coughs> I can get a bit more depth so I'll give it another cast try it try out there see how we go I haven't seen anything rising so obviously they're down below so I say 80% of the fish's diet is at the bottom, so or underwater. So yeah, that's where I'm trying predominantly today. Anyway, hopefully we uh, hook onto something. I can get some footage and share it, share it with everyone. Okay. A fish here. Oh yeah, stonker. What well, looks it? Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's a nice fish. It's a big rainbow. Is it a stonker or is it a wild one? Oh. Oh. Just gotta tire it out. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't lose it. Oh. It's a good fish. <clears throat> Here it comes. Nah, still got that heaps of kick in it. Oh, it's just lipped it. Oh, come on. Got him. Oh, look at that. That is a huge fish. Oh. 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 
I'd be happy with that. Look at that. Oh, you can see that in the net. Happy days. Oh, to another fish. Gee, I don't think it's a big one. But good fun. And another rainbow. Just a smally. Whoa, you're not happy. Oh. Try and tire him out a bit. There he is. Oh. He's taking the nymph. Alright, get him in the net. Hold his head up. In he goes. Give him a little nip. Well, he's only like about. Uh, small, small little rainbow. I'll just let him go, eh? Go on, buddy. Off you go. Onto something again. Might be a little bit bigger than that little rainbow. Oh. Oh. Whoa, whoa, he's not happy. Oh. Oh, what is it? That's not a bad fish. Oh. oh. Got a bit of going in. Not real big. Move out. Oh, I know. Oh. Still got some going in. Oh, yeah. A nice rainbow, oh, just on the lip. There we go. Got him. Happy days. Uh, that's three, I think, I've got so far. I had to grab. There you go. A nice rainbow. He's probably, I don't know, probably 40, 40 centimetres. Now I will let him go. Off you go, mate. There he is, he's happy. Whoa, there's something again. I don't know what it is. Oh, that's what it is. A bit of a twig and someone else's fishing line. <laughs> oh well, it's going to happen sometimes. So, yeah, and you saw that the indicator go down, you got to strike straight away. Don't wait. Doesn't matter if it's getting stuck on something or whatever, if you don't strike, it's a possible lost opportunity. So, on that occasion, it was just a little stick, but you know, you don't wait around because the fish certainly don't wait around. If they don't, if they realise it's not a, a, a natural piece of food, they'll just spit it out and you're going to miss them. So that's in a bit closer than the last cast, just so I'll, I'll try to bring it back a metre every time. There we go, we're on. Oh, come off. I just, like I was saying, bring it back like a metre every time and uh, that way you sort of cover the, all the water. Yeah, that was a nice fish that caught off then. There was a bit of weight in that. Anyway. A bit of a spew, but anyway, that's what happens. Another fish. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I hope you got that. It's going nuts. I'm just going to tire him out. Don't rush it. Not a big one, but you got to catch what's what's available. Keep his head up. 
Are you ready? Here we go. Gotcha. Happy days. There's another rainbow. We're all, all very rainbows today. Gosh, that's, that's a brown. A brown, I think. No, that's a brown. Yeah, there is a brown. There you go. Yeah, there is a brown trout. So uh, that's the first brown for today. Nice little one. Oh, there you go. Come on, buddy. There he goes. Happy days. Oh, something again. A pretty good day here. Yeah? Oh, he's coming in right towards me. Oh. Not a bad one. Oh. Oh, this one looks like another brown. Yeah, so here's this brown trout. The battery went flat. So, I'll oh, just let him go, eh? There he goes. He was happy. This crazy fish jumping out of the water about five times. I couldn't turn the camera on. There's a rainbow. Whoa! He's <laughs> not happy. Just tire him out a bit. I was untying a knot and these cows started chewing my, my spare rod there. I wasn't happy. Come on, you get off. <laughs> Freaked me out. Oh, want something big? Oh, 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 oh. Off like a rocket. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just play him, let him take line. Otherwise, you'll rip the hook out of his mouth. Whoa, he's not happy. Oh, oh. it's tiring out. Still haven't seen him. Oh, yeah. Not a bad, he's like 40. 40 centimetre rainbow. There he goes. <clears throat> Oops. There he is. It's tiring me up. I think he's ready. Ready for the net. Can I mind? There we go. Got him. Oh, that was him. This is a decent trout. Yeah, do a good 40 centimetres, I reckon, this one. Look at that. Really happy with that. It's a wild one, it's not a stocked one, but looks of it. Yeah, none of the fins have been trimmed. So, yeah, lovely rainbow. There you go, buddy. And off he goes. Oh. Got onto a few. Yeah, the battery went flat. That's the second time on the take, so yeah, it's just a small rainbow. Really nice fish. Let's let him go, eh? Come on, buddy. There he goes. Rainbow. That is a real nice rainbow. Oh. Oh. 
Pascal. Interesting here. There we go. Whoop. Off he goes. Oh. Oh. Nice rainbow by the looks of it. Oh. looking fish. There we go. Come on, buddy. Oh, first cast in this new spot. Anyway, what have I got? Whoa. Oh, come on. Damn. Well, hi all. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, I had a pretty good day today. Uh, I caught the one stonker and probably about 15 uh, rainbows and um, brown trout. It was really good, so I, I'm pretty happy with that with that effort today. I mean, the Goulburn River can be challenging on some days, but today was pretty good. Caught most of them on the nymph. Uh, it's the pears ear with the silver little bead. Um, and also I had like a little fly up top. I caught one on on that nymph as well So I, I, I didn't expect to catch anything on that but caught a nice rainbow on that one So overall, you know, it's a lovely day. I think the the water levels going up tomorrow. So I just got in before that <clears throat> Yeah, so you just got to have a crack uh, Hopefully some of the techniques that I used are going to help some of the beginners uh, and maybe even some others to be able to catch some trout in a river like i said the rivers are so much easier to catch fish in because the fish have got to make a decision to eat that fly otherwise it just goes past them so they really have to make that decision quickly and that's why they're so much easier to catch still you've got to be able to put the fly in a spot where you're expecting them to be so you've got to you know anticipate there might be a fly a, a fish uh, where you cast it to otherwise you're just casting in an area that may not hold any fish and you're you're reducing your chances so look i, I hope you enjoyed that video uh, like like it if you if you enjoyed it and please subscribe and you can get some updates i'll be doing a few trips up to the goulburn now that it's open so this is like the first week uh, in the trout season so I thought I'd get up here before the levels go up. I think they're doubling the, the uh, release water rate tomorrow. So, yeah, today was a good day to get here. So, yeah, thanks for watching and God bless you all. Bye. Oh, just one more cast. Oh, so big. A big rainbow. Ooh. Oh, got some mumbo in him. He's got some mumbo in him. Right, well, I'm going good now. <laughs> hey, all right.
happy days. <laughs> I think that's one of the one of the ones I stocked. Beautiful fish.